Holly here, and we are once again blindfolded in the backseat of a car. Well, marijuana is completely illegal in Canada, except for federal authorization to use it for medical purposes. Well, not really this time. We are actually on the BC Ferry and we're heading over to Victoria, BC, where we're going to speak with a few patients who use a medical marijuana dispensary. We're also going to check out a legal grow up. I use my medicinal marijuana for my eating disorder. I use it to cope with the pain of my uh, tumors. About 4,000 Canadians have the ability to use or to grow cannabis for medical reasons. I'm using 1.75 grams of THC a day and this helps me tremendously. It helps my blood pressure, it helps my appetite, it helps me cope with the pain. So we're standing outside of the legal grow up. We're gonna take a little walk inside and go check it out. Health Canada. So they are still under construction here, but we do have security cameras throughout the entire premises here. And so this is the grow up itself here. You'll notice on the front door, they have their license here. Let's go take a look. For the first time in my life, I received an, a letter from a government agency that says that I am seriously ill and I need this. And, and how could somebody not want me to be well or not just me? There's more than just one person out there that's suffering. There should be more access to physicians that aren't afraid to think outside the box or outside the lines. and make this possible for people who need it. This is what's working. <clears throat> We've had many clinical trials at McGill University. People, you know, people who can testify. Uh, societies like the MS Society, the Arthritis Society, Bonafide Societies, um, who are recommending it. So I think, I think it's time that in Canada it should be far more recognized as um, a very viable resource for, for medical management. If the product were licensed and available under controlled conditions, we could look at a system which would be similar to what we have in place with alcohol and tobacco, which um, most experts feel would certainly be beneficial to society. If you bring something into the legal market, you can control it, you can have regulations. That's why we don't have moonshine alcohol that kills people with one sip. You know, that's why we don't have basement explosions of gin, because those things aren't illegal. It's the illegality that brings all the risk and danger into it. It makes more sense to have it legalized. Prohibition was over 70 or so more years, and they've been using it in the eastern continent for over 5,000 years. So it's about time that we have a wake-up call here. Ending prohibition and selling it legally to adults, mm -hmm. taxing it, regulating it, making it something above board instead of wasting billions and forcing laws and handing billions over to gangs. That mm -hmm. just doesn't make sense. I use it basically because I want a better quality of life where I can function somewhat normal.